We're on the final day. We're pretty much on the semifinals. Whoever wins this round goes into the finals against Mugi. Moe's going in with a Lava Hound, and Igor just has a Royal Giant right at the bridge with the Firecracker. It's going to wreck those guards. He's going in for a full-on push. That's going to be... <gasps> Is that a King activation? Not even. Not even. That Firecracker connects, but... Skeleton Dragons connect. He waited for it to connect so that the bats could take that out. But Mo uses arrows in there. That is... That is going to be a defense. Defending with the Miner and Skeleton Dragons. Now he's not going to have the Skeleton Dragon on the right side. But he has to defend the left or he's going to lose that tower. He's going to lose a tower. This is why I'm bad. I defend bad things. <laughs> Igor's not getting through. There's guards. There's Miner. There's Goblin Cage. He's got bats, lightning, and firecracker for the Lava Hound, but that's about it. Oh my word. That Lava Hound's connecting with the flying machine and everything. This is best of three. That's fine. He just didn't have the cards to address it. It's just match royale. We're fine. Igor, Mo, Mugi, the last three standing. Wow. It is no coincidence that they all have number one finishes in the world. Here's a quick message from our video sponsor, Mobile Legends Bang Bang. So we featured this game a few times before, and they've had a pretty amazing year chalked full of highlights like the 515 e-party anniversary celebration. And this year, they had their first music video released by their virtual group, Stun, which features rapper Cho, singer Selena, and DJ Brody from the game. Collabs are a big part of MLBB, and this year they had some big names like Transformers and Star Wars featured in the Southeast Asia and Japan regions. You could have played using iconic skins like Optimus Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee, Darth Vader, and even Master Yoda. But not Baby Yoda? If you were lucky enough to be a part of the participating countries, you could even play as a legendary boxer, Manny Pacquiao. MLBB takes esports seriously, and the M2 World Championship that happened in January was the most watched MLBB tournament with over 3 million spectators. You don't want to miss out on M3 that takes place on December 6th to 19th in Singapore. It's going to be a world-class event with the top 16 teams from around the world competing for the coveted title and a combined prize pool of 800 thousand dollars it's a lot of orange juice i could buy with that money m3 will be seeing teams from new regions so make sure you check out the mlbb's official facebook and youtube for the schedules of your favorite teams join in on the 5v5 action by downloading in the link in the description down below and you can use the code you see on the screen for some exclusive bonuses matchmaking only takes 10 seconds and the 10 minute matches are action packed so what are you waiting for link to number 746 he's gonna activate it oh my goodness that golden knight scares me when it charges this is the archer queen royal piglet one not bad archer queen's just wrecking everyone and everything only one archer's alive he's got to use the golden we've all seen the golden knight you saw mo just stand up he's excited that is a massive connection because the golden knight is not going to stop all the damage the piglets deal a thousand damage in the tower i'm not even cheering for anyone i'm just excited for these massive plays golden knight cycle holy heck good good placement there because the archer queen takes out the tesla the log kind of knocks that back using the earthquake just to stop him from putting down any skeletons in that proximity. Golden Knight's going to go in. Minor Psycho Golden Knight. There's no way Minor Poison is going to be able to get through just because Moe's with such a lead right now. Ain't no way unless that Golden Knight connects. That's crazy. Moe's going to go into the finals. That was a hundred thousand dollar game. Golden Knight doesn't counter the piglets. That was a lot of damage. Igor gets seventy five thousand dollars for that for finishing in third place. That's that's massive. Mo's guaranteed a hundred thousand dollars now. He's gonna have to compete against Moogie for two hundred thousand dollars. Jewelsy with the deck picks. We're in the final brackets now. So because of the double elimination, Moogie's already in the higher bracket. He only needs to win this one set. If Mo wins, he needs to win again in the grand finals for the $200,000. 89% of the community thinks that Moogie is going to win. Wallbreakers. Is this Wallbreakers cycle? Countered with the guards. Predicted right on the spot. The Wallbreakers countered by... Oh my, it is... Another wall breaker thing that's going to be countered by Zappies. Moogie with Goblin Drill. That's going to be insane. That's a cycle wall breaker. Mega Knight stopped by the Valkyrie with Tesla to stop everything. Zapping the guards on time. That's going to connect. That prince is going to connect. Takes out the bomber. Miner going in. Wall breakers tanking the prince. 
Prince gets through. Wall breakers are going to connect. Mo's already celebrating early. My palms are sweaty. That was a $200,000 Prince. Goblin drill in the other lane. He's going to predict with the Prince again. Nothing. Oh, wall breakers to open the drill and then arrows to counter the goblins and the wall breakers. That is some insane reaction that they have right now. Moogie looks a little frustrated because the miner did connect in the tower. It's triple elixir now. This is getting real serious. Dual pressure on both lanes. Warbreaker doesn't connect because of the wall because of the Mega Knight. 40 seconds. He's got a he's got a 700 lead differential that he's got to catch up on. Guards versus the arrows. But now he doesn't have arrows for the wall breaker. Pulling the prince backwards. Nothing connects on the left side. 20 seconds left. He knew that was his last hope. He needed those wall breakers to connect. Moogie just keep applying pressure and pressure and pressure. Ain't no way. Moogie just tried to apply last minute pressure on the bottom left. He had to play a little bit differently because he was always behind a little bit on tower health. Mo has to beat him again and then move into the grand finals. But Moogie only needs to win two games to be the champion. Roll Ghost in the back. This is going to be the second game. Oh, that's that's a pretty decent Barbarian Barrel. Ram Rider going in the bridge while the Golden Knight's doing damage. Oh, that's a really good log on Moogie. It completely stopped it. Allowed the Goblin Brawler to deal damage, take everything out in the Golden Knight, Ram Rider, all that. Show me them Royal Piglets versus Bridge Spam. Queen activates her ability. That's some easy damage on there, but she's still going to die to the P.E.K.K.A. Ooh, that P.E.K.K.A. Was that the right play there for Fisherman to hook the P.E.K.K.A.? Moe's looking like he's in a really good position right now. He's got a 600 damage lead. P.E.K.K.A. right at the bridge. Lightning to take out the Golden Knight or bring down the Golden Knight and the Ghost lower. Nothing connects. Did I say Royal Piglets? I said Royal Hog. Totally meant Royal Hog. Bro, Royal Giant. Royal Giant. Royal Giant connects on the tower. That's just too intense. Mother Witch dies. Ram Rider slow down the giant. Ram Rider completely stopped that? Excuse me? Moe's going for the poison. That's going to take out the Mother Witch. It's going to deal a little damage in there. That's pretty decent value. Now he's got to address this Archer Queen. Golden Knight way across. With Mother Witch to kind of Turn that into a piglet and then counterattack on the right side. Fisherman piglet. That was a really, really good mother witch. Ram Rider goes in because of that lightning, but Moogie stops it with the hog. Minute and a half left in overtime. This is so tight. 1913 versus 1981. This is going to be a tiebreaker match. Converts into a piglet there. No, no connection from that side. Applying dual pressure in the other lane with Golden Knight and a Royal Ghost in the left side. He's going to be able to address that queen. Mother witch going in. That poison was pretty good to hit the Archer Queen. Now he's got the Goblin Barrel for that. Golden Knight connects on the right side. But Moogie's still in the lead. This, this is way too tight. Royal Giant's going to get some damage down. Guaranteed damage. The Lightning to stop the P.E.K.K.A. 252. That Lightning with the Fisherman. He's just putting stuff down at this point. One Piglet on the tower. Moogie. Oh my goodness. 1-1. One, one. If Moogie wins this, he wins $200,000. If Mo wins this, then they play in the grand final since he came from the lower bracket. Bowler. Could that really be balloon freeze? Mortar in the final match? Moogie's not letting that Archer Queen take any damage. That... Baby Dragon absorbs a third of that. And now Moe's going to tank that Baby Dragon with a Knight. Might as well use that Knight to tank. So he's sending in the Piglets. They all connect to the tower. But there's a King Tower activation. Inferno Dragon a little bit higher to take out the Piglet. And then to tank for the Spear Goblins. Oh, that, that, is, that is an Invisible Queen. That's a pretty good bowler there. Knocks her back. But Moogie's got to come back from this. This tower's down 1,200. Not even going to let it connect. Moe's looking like he's in a really good position. Balloons coming through. 
What the freeze? The freeze! Moogie! Oh my goodness! That's a $200,000 freeze! Mo, you've got to come back from this. What was that? What was that? He's going in with the cannon cart. Oh! I thought Moogie was going to lose that freeze! Oh! What the freak? That lumberjack connection on the freeze? Freeze to defend all of that. Mo knows. Oh my goodness! No way! The $200,000 freeze! <laughs> Moogie, the world champion! He did not just go, ha ha! Moogie, the world champion of Clash World 2021.